I come from a town called Gallinaro in the middle of uh, a valley on top of a hill encircled by mountain all around it on this side of the Abruzzi. I was born there and I grew up amongst a very, very happy crowd of people. father was fighting in the First World War and when he uh, came out of the war, he emigrated and he came to this country. Then he came back and he got married. And in 1933 I was born. After a year he came back to this country again and came back in 1937 to Italy so it, with uh, the idea to take everybody to this country. They were predicting that the war would start pretty soon, so he wanted to bring his family to this country, but uh, it did not happen. Mussolini followed Hitler. As a matter of fact, he was driven into the war. Mussolini loved the young people. And he uh, wants them to become like uh, the Boy Scouts in this country, dressed up in uniforms. And uh, But my mother didn't like that. <coughs> anyway, I went to school under Mussolini and uh, it was okay. My mother despised to hear all those things that we had to do in school, all the brainwashing that uh, came through that. And she didn't like it, especially when she had to buy me the uniform. Oh, she argued about it so much. She was the last one. She did not want to buy me the Balilla's uniform. And, uh, the uniforms were uh, according to ages. We had the Figlio della Lupa up to eight years of age, and then we had the Balilla's, and then we had the avant-gardist and then we had the young Italians and the same was for the girls. The girls had to dress up too. Mussolini was for a strong young population. People that could serve him if he needed to go any further in a war there. In, uh, in school, we had to sing uh, all these uh, political songs. Come in un sogno 
And uh, my mother did not like that at all. But she, she was fighting the law of the country because she was uh, proud of uh, seeing young people use their own mind, not use, not do what everybody was telling them to do. Yeah, I remember when they came and uh, we heard that uh, the Germans were coming to our area and they kept coming and coming and coming and they fortified our area in such a way that uh, it took the Allied force six months before they could push them away. And we were there all that time through the battle for Monte Cassino. And uh, it took him uh, a long, I remember when the, fir the first cannon shell exploded in front of our house. It was on Christmas Eve in 1943. And since then, we were uh, uh, amongst the shellings every day, the bombings and everything else. I remember when Monte Cassino was bombed uh, at the, the middle of February, and the planes came over our area through the one side and the other side of the mountains, the, they, they obscured the sky. So many planes, matter of fact, they said that uh, not only planes, but over 2,000 um, cannons were firing on top of that uh, a, a bay there. They, they destroyed it completely. <laughs> 